Good morning. Today we are going to a place that I have dreamt about visiting since I read about it in a travel magazine about 30 odd years ago. But there is a catch. Although it's a hotel we're going to, we're not staying overnight. But trust me, it's still worth a closer look. Let's go. Why is there a rocket sitting at the side of the road? We've got a bit of a problem folks. I went to where the bus station should be, but it was just a construction site. And there's somewhere we've got to get today and there's only one bus. Oh boy, there's not even anyone to ask. I finally found someone to ask and they were like, ah, the new bus station. I wish they'd updated it on Google Maps. Okay, so I think this is the bus station. Like the guy said, it's just a big car park. Oh, thank you. That's what we're looking for. I was getting worried there. I thought this video would finish before it had even started. In fact, this is the little town that we're specifically looking for. I'll try and say it. Yukas Yorvi? That's my best shot. Well, I guess now we just wait. But this shows you why I turn up early for these things. And if you too need to find the bus station to go to the ice hotel or the airport, say, well, if you can find Kirana Church, which is just over there in the background, then you can find the bus station. Thank you. Thank you. Quick, get all this stuff on. Oh boy. It's cold. So welcome to Yukas Yarvi. The bus journey was only about 11 miles, 17 kilometers. But I tell you what, it's a different world out here, even compared to Kirana. And just off to our left-hand side, this is the complex that is Ice Hotel. I tell you what, it might have started off as quite a small place, but these days it's a big operation, eh? There's our first block of ice. So as you come through the entrance on the right hand side here, you've got the little chalets. So you don't have to stay in the ice hotel itself. You can stay somewhere a wee bit warmer. And then on the left hand side here, you've got the reception building. It's funny, even all the signs are made out of ice. Oh, 
Uh, but before I said, we said Will, did you bring the charger? Yeah. Okay. You want it? Yeah, I'm going to put it in my pocket. So here we are folks, I cannot believe we're actually here after all this time. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? And it's called Ice Hotel 34, so I guess that means it's the 34th time they've had to build this place, because of course every spring it just melts away. Now I emailed the Ice Hotel in advance to ask if I could film and they've very kindly given me a press pass. Just in case you wonder what that is hanging around my neck. Okay, I think we've got some kind of viewing point just up these ice stairs here. This place is absolutely magical and we're not even inside yet. Look at the lights inside the ice. Wow. And there it is, folks. Oh man, this is so exciting. So even if, like me, you don't have the opportunity to actually stay here, I would totally recommend already coming just to visit for the day. And maybe one day we will get the chance to actually come and stay here. But it's not the kind of thing I'd want to do on my own. I'd much rather that Alicia was here to experience it as well. Now, I don't have a map or anything, but I'm guessing that we go in this way. There's a little shop here as well. I might need to pick up some souvenirs before I leave. I think I need a new key ring, don't I? Oh boy, this is unlike anything I have ever seen before, or anywhere I've ever been before. Now just behind me here, this is the original Ice Hotel, so this is the one that melts away every spring. But now we've got Ice Hotel 365 over in the distance there. And that's a place where you can spend the night in an ice room any time of the year, even if it's the peak of summer, 25 degrees outside, you can be in your ice room. But of course this is the really cool one, so let's go and have a look inside. Look at the doors. Oh boy. Talk about taking your breath away. I can't believe this is real. And I can't believe it's all made of ice. I mean, literally everything you see is made of ice. Even the chandeliers, the pillars, everything in the rooms. Wow. So as you can see here, we've got lots of little corridors off to the side, and I think this is your room number displayed up here, and you'd be very lucky to stay in this corridor, because this is where the art rooms are. So each room is filled with hand-sculpted ice art, which of course is done every year, and is different every year. Look at this. And there's your ice bed, with reindeer hide to keep you warm, eh? I can't believe how quiet it is in here and it's nowhere near as cold as outside. All this snow is doing a good job. Oh, I like this one. Oh, and look at this fellow up here. It 
It's funny to think that all these rooms would have been occupied last night. I'm just waiting for the maid to come in with her hoover. Although I don't think you need it in this hotel. Right, we'll head across the corridor now to Beaver Lodge. Oh, I love the entrance. They just get better, don't they? I don't know how well I'm capturing this, but the talent of these artists is just unbelievable. I love the sound effects they put in the rooms as well. I hope I'm not boring you because I'm going to go into every single one of these rooms. They all deserve a look. Now this one is called Frozen Moment and you'll see in a moment why it could be my favourite. Ta-da! And just to give you an idea of scale, I'm having a wee selfie with them. Just imagine waking up with that boy at the end of your bed. Ah, oh, this one's just like a fairy tale, isn't it? I really can't get over this place. I'm gutted that I wasn't able to stay here this time. I'm gonna have to change that at some point. Inception. I came into this one thinking it looked quite plain, but the effects are incredible. See inside. I don't mean see inside. This one's called see inside. Oh, I love it. Imagine sleeping inside a giant icy clam. Right, let's cut across now to the other corridor of sweets. What's this one? Don't get up. Look at this. Oh, now I'm not sure if waking up to that would excite or terrify. What do you think? This one's morning song. Oh, it's got a nice little passageway to get in. Wow. Seriously, folks, how many times am I going to say wow in this video? but it's genuine reaction. Now this one's called Torney River, which is the river where all this ice is sourced from. I really like these ones where the bed's tucked away in the corner. And this is us now going into the Obscura Suite. Well, that's something a bit different, isn't it? Now, you'll notice that even these deluxe suites do not have their own bathrooms. But thankfully, I've not seen any yellow snow yet. Now, this one's called Eternal Flow. I've just got no idea what to expect now when I walk into these rooms. Oh, I like this. Look, it's even got its own little seat in the corner. To me, this one feels more like a traditional igloo, you know what I mean? I like it. Nebula's Child. This one's very dark and mysterious, isn't it? <laughs> Look at those colours. I think I'll need to take a photograph so you can see this one better. We're now going into Dream with a Thorn. Of course, this YouTube video is only relevant for 2024 creations, but you'll always have a surprise at Ice Hotel. Oh, I love this one. And be careful, don't jag yourself on these thorns. Who knows, one day we might see thistles, a Scottish room. Oh, a bit of a light show going on in here. This one's called Minus 10, which I believe is the temperature you'll be sleeping in. Look at the wonky benches. 
I'm not sure if I'm meant to sit on these, but I just have to. And this one comes with a wee pet in the corner. Now, if I'm not mistaken, just at the end of the corridor here, we've got the church. Wait till you see this. What an entrance. I think we'll take a seat in the front row. Hey, I wonder if they ever have actual weddings here at Ice Hotel. Hey, maybe someone watching this video got married here. Let me know in the comments if you did. Let's see how transparent these blocks of ice are. Can you see me? Now down this next corridor, we've got all the standard rooms. As if you could call anything standard in this place. Oh, I wasn't expecting these to have any art in them at all. But they're still pretty impressive, aren't they? And of course, nice thick walls. It's hard to believe that the place melts at all, isn't it? Oh, that's a shock to the system. As soon as you step outside again, you realise just how insulated the ice hotel is. And to think it's all just ice and snow. Amazing. All right, let's now go and have a look at Ice Hotel 365. And like I say, this is the one that doesn't melt away in the springtime. Now, as soon as you step into the 365 building, not only have you got more rooms, but you've got the world famous ice bar. And yes, I'll be having a drink there very shortly. What's this up the back? Oh, you can do ice sculpting classes. Now the suites over this side are just as extravagant as in the traditional hotel but I'm going to show you one just now that you might recognise if you watch a bit of YouTube. Because I'm pretty sure that this is the room that Walk With Me Tim stayed in when he was at the Ice Hotel and he actually stayed overnight in here so he did it properly. And if you've seen Tim's video you'll know that this room has a very special bonus at the back. That's a warm bathroom. And I think that would make all the difference, wouldn't it? I don't think we can get in. Nah, you need your key card for it. But let's be honest, I always like a bathroom in my room, so I think it'd be worth the extra, wouldn't it? Well, that's a bit creepy, isn't it? There are just so many unique rooms and suites in Ice Hotel that I can't possibly show you them all in this one video. But I hope it does give you an idea what it's like here. I just wonder if in here, the 365 part, if the rooms stay the same every year or if they redo them with different artists. But either way, it's incredible. Oh, hello. I like this room. And that you've even got your own wee seating area. Don't mind if I do. Well, I keep saying I can't show you them all and then I keep finding new rooms that I just have to show you. Oh, it's a train carriage, okay. The sound effects gave it away. This is nothing like my sleeper train cabin, is it? Oh, this one's got a wee pal as well. I think I'd have to insist on a room with a cat. Hello. Hello. 
Nah, some of the rooms in here are just on a different level. I think they must be permanent installations. I think it's time we grabbed a drink. I'm sure you'd agree. But what will we have? Hey, could I have a mojito, please? Yes, of course. Thank you. I've gone for a classic mojito, I just couldn't resist it. But see when you put your ice glass down on a nice table, it sticks a bit. <laughs> this is going to be difficult to pick up, never mind drink. Right, let's try and do this. Cheers, folks. Is it better from the edge? It's not better from the edge. Oh, that is so good. Oh no, my mojito's stuck to the table. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Hey, thanks very much. Thank you so much. Bye. I don't know, having cocktails at midday when it's minus 18 outside, this place is dangerous. What's through here? I'm just following the crowd. I just followed the people there. I'm not even sure I'm meant to be on this side because we're now outside the walls of the ice hotel. And I tell you what, you can feel it a lot colder on this side. And down there in front of us, that's the river. That's where all those blocks of ice come from that form the ice hotel every year. And just for a wee time check, that's us at two minutes past 12 in the afternoon. So that's as much sun as you get at this time of year. Even with my gloves on, the tips of my fingers are just so cold at the moment. Time to go back inside. If I can work out how to get back inside, that is. I'm guessing these are all part of the ice hotel as well. Big chalets. I think this path has dumped me back out of the main car park. I might have to pay to go back in again. Aye, here we are. This all looks familiar. I've stumbled into what looks like a bit of a behind the scenes area. This is where the magic happens, behind these big blocks of ice anyway. There's what can only be described as freezers, massive warehouses where all the ice is stored and the workshop as well, where they create all these amazing sculptures and just keep the ice hotel in one piece throughout the winter. It's incredible. And that's the outer walls of the hotel itself, which in late spring will just melt and fall back into the river. Now let's get back inside, I genuinely can't take this anymore. Oh, that's better.
Right, there we are folks, that's us all done at the Ice Hotel. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. What did you think of it? Did you enjoy that? Let me know in the comments below. Now I was going to go along and show you the rest of this little village, but I think it's very small, it's very cold, and it's about to be very dark, so I'm just going to go and get my bus just now. Thanks again for watching, see you next time, bye bye. Oh, I think that's my bus. By the way, I just love the houses here. I mean, look at that. That's just where they put their bins. It's just so beautiful. That kind of design there is right up my street. I like it in yellow as well. And it's glistening. 